Two testimonies can take you anywhere in the world. Two testimonies broke protocol. Two testimonies changed the list of those that were to be kings Hallelujah. in the house of David. Jesse. Jesse. Two testimonies as we are seated here. Only God knows the testimonies you are sitting on which are you looking with you. That's wickedness. If God has ever been kind to you, raise up. Get to God. If you are not happy, then I wonder what God will do for you again. Only God knows how many years from the time that David took battle against a lion and he kept his testimonies in his heart. He wouldn't allow his testimony to diminish. Why the church is not doing as much as we are doing is because we have no value for testimony. Jen said, we are asking God and praying is because we are asking our needs for selfish gratification. If God answers your prayer, what will you become? Some of us will become worse Christians. That will make you walk away. Some of us, one blessing will distract you completely from God. God loves your humility. He won't want you to lose it. He has tried you with two, three testimonies, miracles in your life. What did you become? The blessing of yesterday is to make you strong to face the battle that you are passing through in your marriage. Not to take a walk. Tell yourself, I'm going to defend the gospel. It's your duty to defend it. Today, the church is building more strike force without defense. A good coach will strengthen his defense, strengthen his midfield, and strengthen in strike force. And usually when your defense, I mean your strike force is not is not delivering, what you depend on is your defense. No matter how good strike for our strike force is, if we are not good in defending, securing, preserving what God has done for us before we will not be able to get the next breakthrough. Any, any football club side that has poor defense, it creates pressure. The man called Job was very good in defending the truth, defending the gospel, and the wife had to give a testimony and what was the testimony when, he, when, she, when she got so tired and discovered that the man was not getting any better? His prayers were not being answered. And the quantum of reproach was multiplying every day. The woman told the man that caused God and that. Am I, am I, am I correct? Yes. All of her, you, we call her foolish woman. Is that not so? She's wiser than most of us sitting here. I'm not sure if my Christianity has gotten to Job's wife level. All of us who have lost people that they were in a bad shape that we thank God that they died. At least they have rested. 
you and Job's wife were like this. She wasn't just trying to find an excuse out of the marriage. She had pity for the husband. But the man did not pity himself. We must get to that level. You must break away from pity parties. You don't need people that will pity you, stir your emotion to cry and cry. Some writer said, weeping will not save you. Around the woman who said this, does thou still retain what? Thy integrity. The word integrity, dictionary meaning of the word integrity means undivided, unbroken. Meaning, so you are still in this, your belief system is still undivided, still unbroken. That's what she meant. So you mean this situation that you are going through has not been able to separate you from this, your belief? He held on to his testimonies. A day came. He reeled out his testimonies. Who Job used to be? And he said, I can't take much from God and be giving it to you. My bad days will not change the pictures that God painted about himself to me. It won't change. That's integrity. You know, when we talk, we talk about integrity, we're talking about now we, 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 we turn it the other way in secular dimension. Some of us, yeah, in your career, integrity perfect, your records, everything, it's okay, everything is standing. But in your heart, there's no integrity in your relationship with God. You get broken easily. You get divided easily. Every time you're in between two opinions and begin to counter what you once believed, it simply means you have issues with integrity in your work with God. And it's by integrity on the testimonies that God has shown himself faithful to us that we use in defending the gospel. Or else, we will just practice religion and try to fool ourselves inside church with dance, feel good, and thus say some of those careless tongues. You know, why you say careless of that have no responsibility? It can be sweeter. You just move around and misbehave. You know the truth. You are not concentrating. You are absent minded. Now, I'm not saying that that's the case with everybody. No, but often we play. Pentecostal religion. Now, can you help me write out about ten things that God did for you that you were so happy? And some of us, those things that God did for you, we shed tears. One testimony outweighs that. What this man talking? I'm sharing my experience with God with you. Yes. I remember some years back, in 2003, we went for a service of song, we returned home, and my house was raised up, the church was burnt. We had no idea, nobody called us. And we 
drop, we are right before the sea. My wife wanted to scream. I said, please don't disgrace God here. I didn't act that way because I was a superman. I have made up my mind that there's nothing devil will do that will make me forget the goodness of the Lord. It's a choice. And I made up my mind that I will share my emotions with what devil is doing. It's not difficult now to know what devil is doing. So why do you now attach your emotions and start paying tribute to Satan with your mouth? The young man that drove us that day, I told him, family, let's go to your house, we will eat from your house and then go to sleep in the hotel. I didn't bother to come down because I knew what the crowd they were waiting for. To start telling me, yeah, they don't get my house back. We lost everything, I was left with a jumper, jumper and a slippers. The same thing with my wife. So the next day we came to, uh, to just ascertain the extent of damage. As we were entering the church compound, my members were inside. They were gisting and laughing, having good time. The moment they saw me, they broke down and started crying. I said, you see that? She can't deceive me. Stop it. Feel good the way you are already. Feel good because I'm already feeling good. 